Now. Live, this is 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. The heartland continues to get slammed with severe weather. The National Weather Service says flash flooding could sweep through parts of Kansas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. Tornadoes touched down in Iowa Friday, and in Rawls, Texas, more than five inches of rain created heavy flooding, sending water into homes and stranding cars all over town. Millions of Americans traveling for the long Memorial Day weekend could face record heat around the country as well. And back here in the valley, the weather has been pretty mild over the past few days. Sally Jaramillo has more on what's next in her full forecast. And good morning to you. If you're thinking of heading outdoors for today, you might want to think twice as temperatures are actually on the cooler side once again, and we have a lot of unsettled weather for you. Today, we do reach those highs of 74 degrees. We're actually 12 degrees cooler from what we had yesterday of those 86 degrees, still below those normal temperatures of 92 degrees. Lows for tonight will be of 51 degrees, and we do show you satellite radar really showing that close low sliding down the Pacific coastline. Really by tonight and that's what's bringing us this high elevation snow about 7,000 feet as we still have that winter advisory all the way into that Monday morning now we could see the possible of possibility of one to four inches of snow along with shower chances we'll show you that with our future cast where we start tracking rain as early as today really after that two o'clock hour it will continue all the way into the Monday morning really sliding down with a 20 percent chance mainly for areas north of interstate I-40 so definitely going to be drying up after that, but you also want to watch out with those southwesterly breezes as we do expect them to get gustier for the afternoon hours, continuing on all the way into that Monday morning, mainly for the mountains. We will definitely see those gusts up in the 25 mile per inch. You do see Pahrump with 21 miles per hour, the mountains with 26, Las Vegas slightly cooler with 13 miles per hour for that Sunday 1 o'clock hour. The next couple days, you'll start to notice temperatures staying on the cooler trend with 74 degrees for today. By Monday, 72 degrees, and then Tuesday gradually warming up once again, 81 degrees, eventually making our way up once again into those 90s where we should be. Now, the mountains for today, watch out. Highs of 48, those lows of 27. Rain chances will be of 70%. We could see the possibility of one to three inches of snow, and those southwesterly breezes being 20 to 30 miles per hour. If you're going to the lakes, borders also be where we do have the possibility of rain chances, a 50% chance that is south. Westerly breezes with 20 to 30 miles per hour. Gusts will definitely be kicking in stronger with 45 miles per hour for tonight, though. We still see the possibility of rain with a 50% chance. Those lows kicking in of 51 degrees out there. And we roll out your 70 forecast. Just want to remind you to please keep that umbrella handy. Drive safe as roads will be slick. Back to you, Orco. Thank you, Sally. Well, it's one of the busiest travel weekends of the year. AAA says 330,000 visitors are coming to Las Vegas, most of them by road. NHP is teaming up with Lyft to make sure people enjoying the holiday with a drink in hand get home safe. You can get five bucks off two weekend rides using the code MEMORIAL19. Besides the rain, there are plenty of ways to stay cool this weekend. Just ahead, get a look at the new Aqua Park. Stay with us. You're watching 8 News Now, the Valley's news leader.